Hello and welcome. This is EDC with Oaken and Kane. I am Oaken. And I'm Kane. And uh, today we've got a uh, little overview for you on uh, this beautiful uh, Southern Grind spider monkey. But we have something else that we need to bring up. Maybe a little uh, public announcement per se. Um, 500 sub giveaway, guys. It came up on us so quick. So uh, we... Uh, We're we, not complaining about that. Yeah, yeah. We are very, very happy. Very grateful for that. But guys, there's been a little bit of a delay getting everything in, so we want to make sure that when we do the official post, we have everything in so you guys can really see uh, what you'll be getting. And uh, just a little reminder, we are going to have uh, some stuff from uh, Gil Tech, as well as uh, Paca Pen is also going to have some stuff. We've got some stuff from QSP, um, as well as a couple other little things. But we just want to make sure you guys uh, uh, didn't forget about it. We're going to remind you guys, we didn't forget about it, uh, but we just want to make sure that once everything gets in, which should be this week, um, and so, yeah, probably this weekend, you'll be seeing um, uh, a, uh, a, a post about it with all the details, all the goodies, and all the excitement. So, back to the task at hand. Yeah. Boom. So, produced by uh, Southern Grind, which... Uh, Zach Brown from Zach Brown's band, or Zach Brown's band um, is uh, the kind of owner and operator of uh, this company, actually out of Georgia, which if you guys don't know, we are located in Georgia. Um, so yeah, so this is produced um, uh, roughly, I think like an hour or so from us, so rel relatively close to us, but a really, uh, really great USA made option. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the video. See you guys. Oh, no, no. Let's, get, let, let's crack it let's open. Crack let's it crack it open, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little bit of story on this. Blaze show, obviously, was canceled this year in 2020. Why'd you have to bring right. it up again? Yeah, again. Um, so a lot of companies, um, Blaze show actually put a Google Doc on their website to where many of the companies that were attending Blade show had some good discount codes as well as... Um, some slash prices on their knives so southern grind actually had 35 percent off their knives last weekend during blade show weekend which is fantastic this knife retails msrp around 229 dollars i believe i think two i think right at like 219 219 um for the for for this kind of for this variant here yeah this is the right. spider monkey so the bad monkey is the larger model that is uh, like I think right under four inches or right at four inches. Mm -hmm. This one is at oh such a great size, not for legality reasons, but a great size for EDC, a uh, three and a quarter inch, which oh I love that, love that. And I was going back and forth on which blade to get. I always like the drop points, but I just could not stop looking at this Tanto. I mean, look at how the lines of the Tanto with the blade match up with this line right here at the end of the handle. I think that just makes the knife look complete. They did a fantastic job with that. This is a nice stonewashed finish in S35 VN steel. And the carbon fiber on this is just so well done. It's 3D milled as you can see here, especially at the bottom of the handle and it gets a little bit lighter. So nice and grippy, um, especially at the bottom. And this is their pocket clip, which I actually liked a lot. Um, I didn't know if I'd like it, but very good retention, small, not very deep carry, but this allows you to actually pull it out of your pocket pretty nicely. And man, I'm a big fan. My only other knife that has carbon fiber that looks sort of like this, that looks very good is, hold on, the Spyderco Capara, as you can see. But this has beautiful carbon fiber, yet it's not 3D milled. It's sort of more of a slick carbon fiber. This has a very nice grip to it. So. Man, I was really happy with picking this up. And with that discount of 35%, this bad boy was $150. So yeah, great deal on that. And uh, yeah, like he was saying, you can get this in a more basic uh, uh, drop point blade, which I'll be honest, I'm always going to go for a drop point. But holy crap, the, the way that... And I, I don't know how much this makes sense. It makes sense to us, okay? <laughs> uh, but the way it, it, it cuts here, 
flows so well for for a tanto in in, in our opinion um that I, oh gosh i i, I have to say I, I probably would have done the same thing i love that um but just a couple quick things that i really enjoy about this knife this right here i am a huge fan of thumb ramps it's one of the things i really like about spydercos but obviously having that hole you get a a, a wide point shall we say and i kind of like that this sort of gets a little bit of uh best of both worlds you know you do get a little bit of a thumb ramp there but it's not adding to a super wide point in the pocket so really like that of course uh what kane was touching on Oh, love that little fluting that just fades into a little bit grippier and grippier. So that that's real nice. And I just have to say, like, yes, there's a lot of videos about this. Yes, a lot of people do like this, but I still feel like it doesn't get as much credit as it should. As far as a very nice American-made, um, uh, I don't want to say small batch, but a little bit lesser known, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, but, oh just really 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 doing a, f a fantastic job with this i think it's a awesome knife i was hesitant about that short stubby pocket clip but it does the job well no hot spots and the ergos are actually very nice so your first finger fits in here obviously the thumb ramp here but the rest of the um, hand just falls nicely on it and you got a little bit of that strider butt yeah exactly the strider butt fits really nice in the fat of your palm right there and just makes it feel more substantial it feels like you have much better grip than on something sort of like the zt0707 where it gets very thin so you're almost trying to squeeze your hand too far out or you're getting more in your finger so this really fills up the palm nicely and for the size just feels great yeah definitely uh definitely uh, uh a uh, pretty good knife i also like that uh in this uh smaller variant it is S35VN, whereas the larger variant is 14C28N. So that's kind of a, a little odd. I don't know if they've swapped that to uh, now the newer Bad Monkeys come in S35VN. But I know for a long time they were still in 14C28, which is a great steal, uh, not at this price point. Right. Uh, so yeah, I love that this one's got the uh, upgraded... Uh, Good old S35VN, nice small uh, package, but not too small. Oh, I can't say enough good things. Can get it in the coated blade as well, drop point or tanto, as well as um, copper scales, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it adds a little bit of heft, heft to it, but it is a nice option if you want some of that patina. Yeah, so... Uh, we're, uh, like I said, guys, this is just kind of a small little overview just to give you guys a little bit of uh, uh, time with the knife as well as uh, to let you guys know, hey, this, this, this review is coming soon. Um, but yeah, really, really like this guy. I'm excited to uh, get a little more time with it and kind of formulate, hey, you know, in use, you know, is this as good as it uh, kind of seems on, on first impressions? Once we get out of the honeymoon phase, shall we say. Uh, Absolutely. But yeah, we really appreciate you guys stopping by. And remember, guys, the 500 sub giveaway is going to be uh, uh, coming up here soon. The official video with all the stuff, um, uh, like I said, will be coming up soon. So uh, get ready. We'll have all the details in that. But guys, you're going to have to get out of the living room. Yep. Have a good day.